My name is Laura Fournier. I'm a native from Sogging First Nations. I um, have been doing art all my life. And these are um, some of my experiences, my feelings, and uh, how I would like to shout out at the world. Going back to understand my real family tragedy hurts my soul. My mother taken away by a hit and run um, car accident to me ending up in a hospital, ward of the Providence and CAS care. My adoption was a whirlwind, feelings of abandonment, not sure of all of this, overwhelming anxiety, trying hard to fit in. As I grew, learning in my own soul to listen, it spoke to me, my soul did told me to look at the past, to find out who you are, research, and school was always important, and always to be happy-go-lucky. The art was always with me. It thrilled me, the ever-ending possibilities. It listened, I listened to my heart and pers um, persuaded it always and forever to be able to express my thoughts and in a new way. I hungered for it. My soul has an inseparable appetite for real knowledge and a thirst to make a difference. That's my first poem, okay? Now this is the real one that um, I wanted to give you kind of a, um, an overall sense of um, the beginning. Now this is uh, more of feelings and everything that, for me. My life as a native woman in the year 2017. My life is a whirlwind, sometimes slowing down to show me a glimpse into the beautiful patterns it's weaving. I was always filled with happiness, ambition, and considered myself happy-go-lucky. My spirit is free, and I had beautiful dreams of myself as an eagle gliding through the Arizona canyon. My colors are chosen for me. The brilliant oranges, reds, yellows, turquoises. I am to use them and think of the ancient ones in the past. I think about how my culture is always running through my veins, making me strong and resilient. Today is the days of struggle. My people's treaties not being honored at all. Murder and missing aboriginals and the lands being raped and destroyed, all for greed. As these things happen, I try to teach others that the earth is our mother, treat her good, look after her, never hurt her. I weep for her in my soul because of the destruction and continual rape of her and the resources. It needs to stop. The, my path is to be a catalyst for good. I look around and see that there needs to be a better way. The native way can lead that way if you let it. My art is flowing out of me, and I can see the world when it's getting bigger, staying positive, celebrating the great spirit. The spirit of the buffalo and raven lead the way for me, and working horse. It's been a dream to be able to re return to my culture, and to the beading, and the leather work, and the oil paints. These talents are in me to share, and passing them along, and leaving a beautiful legacy of a native woman in the year 2017.